Yeah, my name is Fatima Ikram. I, I was born actually in the Virgin Times, 47, 1947, when uh, the India Pakistan year. I can't remember all these things, but uh, as I heard that it was a very year time, India Pakistan was divided. And, yeah. and I was born in November, 24th of November actually. <laughs> and this year again, my 60th birthday. <laughs> my childhood, I spent my childhood around that year, and I uh, still I remember some of my friends there. And as, as I was the first child, I got all the preferable things from my parents. My father, he was, um, he was very, um, what can I say, very interested in women's education. And uh, he wanted to send me to university, so he did. So I had my edu university education from Bangladesh. In 1973, I passed my master's from there. Because as he wanted to send me to the residential schools, uh, I had um, all the opportunity to learn English with him. And I started my uh, learning English from my childhood, actually. And that was his dream of when he was 12 years old to send me. And that's why he very early sent me to school. And uh, actually, I started my boarding school when I was seven years old. And I like the school, though it has got very hard and fast room, but still, what I am today, it helps me a lot because uh, it said that you, you can, you can, yeah, you can, in which situation you can, you can cope with that. And I believe that this school helped me to do that. And I am, I am a good supporter of that school. The, the school was run by a Hindu person, but he was a very generous person. And uh, it's for Hindu, Muslim, Christian, everybody was there. Now, I got married in 1976 because my husband came here. Uh, he was actually very young when he came here in 1957, he came here. And a uh, long time he was here, he didn't get married, two, three times he went back home. And I said, okay, the other brothers let them get married. So my brother-in-law who got married before, and um, as my husband was the eldest son, he didn't. So in 1976 he went and said that you have to, yeah. And then the marriage was arranged. But they asked, my parents also asked me if I want to see him. I said, that if you like him, go ahead, I don't want to see him. <laughs> So it was in marriage, yeah, 1976, November I got married, and um, December, not December, 77, April 77 I came here to England. When I was a when I came here, uh, we, uh, we went to one of my husband's relatives' house, his uncle's house, so we stayed there for a few weeks, and then we went to Cardiff to see one of his uncle, and so at first it was okay, but first uh, I didn't feel so, yeah. But a few days later, I make friends with people, I go to visit people, yeah, so it was okay. We used to read lots of books about, yeah, because in our, in our interview, we have got a book, Milate uh, Shari one of our professors came to England. From his book, we find out that, yes, he used to, he wrote that uh, willow tree has got long hair, because in this country, the girls don't really have long hair, because they haven't got time, they have to uh, queue for the bus, queue for the year chain, queue for the everything, so they haven't got long, uh, they haven't got time to tie the long hair, so they shortcut the hair, but the tree is resembles like, look like long hair of the girls. Some social work as well, and four years I was work, I worked there as a uh, lecturer there in the college. So, and when I came here, I said that yes, I went to visit the school. I said that do you need any kind of help? So they said that yes, we need some translation. So where do you come from? So from Bangladesh. How did you learn your English? So they're from university. For I I went to university at So okay. So she gave me the address of uh, at the. At the moment, it is Barnfield College, it was South before. And also, you have got Community Relation Councils, CRC, that it is. They said that uh, uh, this kind of uh, places needed people like you, so you can contact them and you can go and see them. I said, thank you very much. So that's, that's the year. Uh, it was a great help. And uh, when I contacted uh, uh, CRC, I went, went to CRC, I met Mrs. Jaffrey. She was from Pakistan. And she's, we are still good friends. And uh, she said that, yes, if you do voluntary jobs, 
you, you will learn lots of things. And also, uh, you, that way people will know you. And actually, I started, uh, according to her, yeah, I started doing lots of voluntary job, and now it's became a hobby of mine. I do still doing the voluntary job, and it's became a hobby. And uh, I did uh, lots of things, campaigning law center, this was another voluntary job of mine. Uh, I do lots of counseling, this is also, yeah. I, I like it, and I like to help people. Thank you.